Hey all you cool cats and kittens out there. If you're anything like me, this quarantine's been filled with binge-watching Netflix. And one of the most popular Netflix shows to come out of it is Tiger King. Now, if you know me, you know I'm obsessed with true crime, so I like immediately started loving this show and I decided to create a cocktail for it. Um, I'm in Hawaii right now and shave ice is a huge thing here and one of my favorite flavors is Tiger's Blood and I thought that was perfect. So I'm making a Tiger's Blood cocktail in honor of the Tiger King Joe Exotic. Or Tiger's Blood cocktail in honor of the killer cat lady Carol Baskin. Depends on who you choose. <laughs> Alright you cool cats and kittens out there, to get started you're going to need some light rum, some Malibu rum, and um, I got a little shooter because Malibu kind of sucks, but because Tiger's Blood is coconut, strawberry, and watermelon, you want to have a little bit of coconut liqueur in there, and it's better if it's alcoholic. Um, some sparkling coconut water, this one has pineapple in it just because it adds a nice flavor. Half a lime, some strawberries, some watermelon, fresh cut. And we have this homemade dark brown sugar simple syrup just to sweeten it up a bit because um, I know new, like not any character in the series is sweet, but mm, shouldn't matter. Um, a little measuring shot glass, shaker, glass to pour it into, straw to drink it, and if you're fancy one of these live scooter things. Oh, I forgot. If you really want to be true to the series, you got to get yourself a little bit of a killing machine to do all the cutting for your strawberries. Alright guys, so in the shaker. a week. We're going to do one and a half ounces of light rum. I chose Bacardi because, you know, it's exotic from my man Joe, but also it was on sale. And also, everyone's out of a job. That's, that's right. Don't replay that footage. Don't make me into two shots of vodka kind of girl. Um, then half an ounce of this putrid, vile, coconut monstrosity that I love. That I love. Syrup. Syrup. Um, about half ounce of simple syrup. Tried it with strawberry jam. It's a little too fruity. So we're just gonna do. Yay. About a half ounce. Ooh. Color. <laughs> um, I'm gonna add like half a lime. These babies were from the farmer's market, so they're fucking huge. Where's Saf when I need her? Lend me a hand. Get it. Cause she has no arm. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, now that's done. Get your machete. Roughly chop this so it gets all that flavor in there. If you're worried about getting tetanus, it's not the same. If you ingest the tetanus, it's different because you're not puncturing blood, it's fine. Go ask your doctor. I'm a doctor, don't go ask your doctor. About three little cubies of watermelon. Really not a strong flavor, but it's fine. And then we're going to put some ice in here, but before we do that, 
get your glass ready by just doing fine little pretty super bougie slices on your super <laughs> um and then get ice for both all right before we get started on shaking and pouring into our beautiful little goblet here um i just want to talk about the inspiration for my outfit today lipstick inspired by carol baskin <laughs> and i guess uh Joe too because he's pretty flashy. Hair, mullet style, Joe style, cut these bangs in quarantine. They're super cute. Mm-hmm. Used cuticle scissors, it was great. And then, of course, these were inspired by John Finley, the most exuberant cat of them all. Cause no one else in the series would wear these except for him. Alright. So, you're going to want to shake this to kind of break up that watermelon and get that freaking strawberry to do its thing. And once it's done, that was my workout for the day. I'm going to pour it into this glass where we put all the strawberries. beautiful tiger orange over here. Less blood, more tiger. And then top it off with our little fizzy coconut pineapple float. And you get your straw, your massive straw that's massive for God knows what reason. And enjoy. Gotta get every last bit of rum. Desperate times. All right, all you cool cats and kittens out there, let me know what cocktail you want next. I've been thinking about doing a Westwood one with brandy or cheers. I've been watching cheers, so just do a hard pour on a beer and that's the whole cocktail. Um, yeah, hope you're all staying safe out there. Hope you're not as bored as me, but I know you are. Mwah. <laughs>